Hey guys, welcome back to Robot IQ here. Um, I was building this uh, little thing here. I'm gonna put in a box for the 3D printer. Um, there's a lot of load on the electronics when you first plug it in on the uh, 3D P11 model for the Hictic 3D printer I have. Um, so when you plug it in, say this is the power cord for the 3D printer. This is the outlet I plug it into. When you plug it in, it sparks. And that's just from the load. And I don't necessarily like it. Um, I mean, it's not that bad, but I just don't like it. Um, so I built this. Uh, I don't have the 3D printer with me right now. But I'm just going to use my lo a little lava lamp here to demonstrate how I wired this. So the way I'm going to have a, uh, a switch with a key. That I will use the key to turn on the printer. So this would be the key switch. So the one, the, the one end just goes into my hot watt socket here, hot wire nut, and then the other end goes into the hot side of the uh, power cord of the printer, and then the neutral I just plug into here, a neutral, um, neutral wire nut. Um, the printer doesn't come with a ground cable. It just has a, a regular regular cable like this. So, um, yeah. So how it works. Okay guys, so I'm going to show you how I have it wired. Um, the way I have it wired is since I'm predicting for a couple more 3D printers come in the mail here. Um, well at least one more, maybe two. Um, since I don't know if the other ones will have the, the sparking problem from the load, I wired up one outlet so that this outlet is off right now, even though I have it plugged into a power surge protector that's turned on. This outlet is off. This outlet is on. The only thing keeping the lava lamp off is the inline controller for the lava lamp. See, I turn this on and off, it controls this because it's plugged into the live outlet. So this outlet's always on if it's plugged in. Now this outlet is only on when I turn the switch. Okay, so right now. Shark myself. <laughs> right now this outlet is live. So uh yeah, I didn't get to uh, put some some tape around the the wires on the switch. I didn't have enough tape. I see how they're on the outlets, the important parts. <laughs> so um I'll get back to you and I'll show you this outlet. Okay guys, so I got it plugged into the other outlet here that is controlled by the switch. So right now it is the, it is plugged in and the power circuit protector is turned on. It is plugged into the outlet. It only turns on when this switch is flipped. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this switch, guys. And again, the inline controller for the lava lamp is off. So nothing should happen when I flip this switch. Alright, so as I predicted, nothing happened. Okay guys, if I flip the inline switch... It turns on, it turns off. So I'm gonna leave it on here, and the guys, and I'm gonna turn off the switch, and it should turn off. So there you go, guys. That's uh, how I have this wired. I'm gonna take, you know, I don't know, maybe some uh, some laminated uh, wood from the store, just build a little enclosure for it. Um, I have some little hinges here. I might make a like a top door that can come off, but. I'm going to have a, uh, a switch off Amazon. I'll show you guys a picture of it in the video. Um, then I'm going to have a key for that will replace this switch that I just mocked up just for purpose and helping me wire it. So, this is not, I'm not going to use this. I'm going to use the one with the barrel key. So, uh, no one else can use it but me. Because uh, it will be uh, hard, may like it will be plugged into these directly, and these will be inside the box. And I mean, I might even get like a little lock to like latch the box shut so no one can open it. Uh, I don't know. I uh, put this outlet in mainly so that I didn't have to open the box back up if I got more 3D printers that had that sparking problem. So uh, I could just plug them into here and use this switch here. Um, plus, I mean. I was going to put outlets on it anyways for my laptop and my iPad and all that. Uh,
because uh, the allotment I'm in, we have an allotment sale every year. You know, people come through. I mean, or if they see a, a kid selling 3D printed items, I mean, they're going to stop. They're going to look. They, they're probably going to buy something. So, uh, you know, making things look nice. I'll have a list of all the stuff I'm going to sell on the iPad. So, might as well have somewhere to plug it in. So, that's for now, guys. See you later. Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to uh, give you no another announcement here before you left. Uh, I'm going to put up another video pretty soon. What is inside of a baseball? Um, I've always been curious. So, I mean, it's going to be a time lapse because I'm not going to take a baseball to school and cut it on the bandsaw. I'm going to use it so I'm just going to make a lot, a lot of cuts. So it will be a time lapse. Um, yeah, stay tuned for that video, guys. Hope to see you next time. Remember to like the video, make a comment if you like what I'm doing, or if you have any suggestions for future videos, leave that in the comments also. And uh, subscribe, guys, it really helps a lot. I'm trying to get this channel up and going. Um, I don't get paid for these videos, so, I mean, I do this because I enjoy it. And, see you next time.